morning vlog. Early morning vibes. First stop, pick a bagel. All right, guys. This is my man Joe. This is the only man I trust to touch this. We're gonna get faded up. Fade time. Joe, love you, brother. And fresh fade. Uh, just actually leaving work, heading to a little surprise concert. Big fan of David Berkeley, so I'm gonna do a little uh, surprise concert at Rockwood Music Stage here in uh, Lower East Side. Good day. Busy day, cranked on the video course, which is gonna be incredible for you guys. Branding in a box, video course, it's gonna be freaking so much knowledge. Jammed on it for like three hours today. Now I'm heading to this concert. Just in full production mode right now. Heading to California in a couple days. And uh, just trying to get a lot of stuff done before I go. But for now, let's enjoy a little bit. Maybe I'll take you with me to the concert for a sec. Hope you guys are having a great rockin' week. Maybe like the leaves on the trees, they come back in the spring, go to green. All right, guys, closing out the night. Um, incredible concert, just very special. To connect, David Berkeley was actually one of my very first favorite musicians in college. I listened to his stuff, this is 10 years ago. And just kind of, it was the first time that I really knew for sure that I was gonna move to San Francisco. I had just been introduced to his music. Took a trip out to San Francisco with a couple of friends from college. It was kind of a time where I just knew that that was gonna be a thing that, that I did. Went to San Francisco and ended, ended up doing that. Um, so tonight was special to see him, David Berkeley, check his music out, it's amazing. Um, home now, I've just kind of been reflecting about the, uh, the day. And I'm trying to, to give you guys a good piece of kind of content every day, aside from like me here, me there, me here, me there, which is I hope fun for you and kind of cool to catch up with the flow of the day. I try to drop some business gems throughout the day, but I wanna just leave every single day with something for you. So that makes it worthwhile your time to watch. And today I think it's just had an interesting experience today with the team. Kind of got irritated with them for a moment about something that was very silly on my part. And you know, the fun of this vlog and the fun of being a leader is to share some of the vulnerabilities, the moments where you are not your strongest. And one of those was today and I just, you know, was frustrated about a couple of different things. One of them completely independent of the team, the other one related to the team, but something that we had basically solved in the past. And I took out some frustration. I had received a client email that it wasn't fun to receive. Then I took out the frustration on the team. You know, I think that it's it happens, right? Every single day things happen. But for me, what's important is I, I assess that and I apologize to the team pretty much instantly. And they were all basically uh, grateful for the apology. Um, which was a pretty clear sign that I, I, I fucked up. But I think that I just, I think if, if, you, if I could point out a weakness of my own, one of the weaknesses of, my, of myself is that I am so concerned with the well-being of those around me, about their feelings, about their emotions, about what it's gonna do to them if I say something. And I'm constantly battling how to, how to say something that I want to say in a way that's not going to destroy people around me. And I think that that is something that I'm, I'm, I practice every single day. And that is something that's very important to me. And I think that, that is something that if I could inspire any of you to do, I think that the benefits so far outweigh the negatives in treating people with a level of sensitivity and emotional intelligence. And so my thing would be, you know, today I, I didn't do that. And, um, and, and that was a real obvious thing for me, right? Like I could definitely feel the fact that I didn't do that. And so I would say for all of you watching, um, try to take some time every single day to assess how you're speaking to people and how you're treating people. And if the words that you are using and the expressions that you are using and the way that you are communicating is the kind of way that would make people around you feel good and I'm not saying don't say what's on your mind. I actually still get that on, I actually still get that out, but it's a balancing act. And being able to say what's actually on your mind while still being sensitive to other people around you, I think is a really good thing. It's not sacrificing the honesty that is your person, but it is, you know, basically 
uh, being aware that the people around you are doing the best they can as well and the people around you also deserve love and the people around you also deserve a respectable form of communication and that was very obvious to me today when I didn't do it. So I wanted to share with you guys tonight, um, just you know, every day we're learning, every day we're doing a little bit better. Most of the days we do real well and the days that we don't, it's just, you just jam on it and learn and, and move forward. So that's where I'm at. Um, you know, busy day, jam on the video course uh, for three and a half, four hours. That's gonna be straight fire. Didn't get into the office till later than I wanted to. Again, something that I constantly try to balance about the amount of work that I'm doing versus the amount of sleep that I'm needing. And then uh, kind of a, a quick day at the office and this concert tonight with, with someone very special and, and David Berkeley very special. And then uh, some late night reflections back at the office, did some work. And now I'm here kind of sharing these thoughts with you guys. I hope they help. I hope it makes you interact with the people that you love and the people that you don't love in a little bit more of a humane way. So thanks for watching, hope this helps. Let me know if it does. Let me know if I can expand further or if you've implemented it and have seen some things that work. Good night, dream big.